stop for a moment. Oh, a little blocking going on and parts flying. Glenn Hunter Ray just came off the pit lane earlier. Just trying to make the move, and when you mistime the move, you end up getting to the always draw and try and pass cars in the start, take advantage of all the cars being close together. But look at all the bumping that's going on. It's like Marco Andretti. Got wrinkled up in turn one, lap one. Just watch his car get stepped out in the back rear, and that right rear tire you'll see is flat. He cannot make the turn. Trying to go along these city streets, and the 14 of Takuma Sato, I'm not sure if he's been hit from the back. Now he's got a flat tire, so that right rear tire is flat. I felt confident in our car, and you know that's that's what we were doing. We were playing the catch-up game. Um, but then we, we had some sort of fueling issue where the, the car was losing power, and just not getting fuel, so not sure what it is yet. Hopefully we can get back out and run some more laps. Ryan hunter Ray comes in the inside, and Marco tries to follow through, maybe a little bit too optimistic to be able to his teammate through. Ends up getting that front clipped and ends up having the car swing around on him. Now the car is still running now. Now here you see on the right-hand side the onboard, the lane closes for him, takes away the real estate. Very kind by saying he was a little bit optimistic. He's going around the turn. The piece is already dislodged from itself, and that piece is large enough, guys. I got to be honest with you and tell you, I'm not clear on exactly what that. Is. Gotta, oh, oh, look at this! Look at this! Half the field in a wreck. Morning hour, rush hour. What a view! Montoya. Certainly, you could say was excitable as a rookie. You never knew uh, necessarily. It's going to be a little tense, so uh, let's go back to uh, Mark in the booth. And coming off of turn number nine in front of the turn number nine, and boy, I, I don't know if something broke loose on the race car or what, but that was a big hit to the right side of that race car, and he comes to rest in the runoff area in turn number 10. You know, it does look like, and Mark, let's be honest, the two of us, neither of us are engineers, right? So that said, when you look at the internal camera from the car, there are two things that it shows. Number one, it looks like Will Power is going to be okay because he was still trying to steer the car and was just sitting you can't see, of course, in the helmet, but his body language would indicate a serious field of debris here. He went in and was attempting to make a left-handed turn. He had the wheel, if you will, all the way turned over. See plenty more corporations uh, around the country getting involved. Drivers in the Indy Lights program, James Hinchcliffe, you name it. In the middle of them. That indicates cars on pit road. Do we end inbox and you can customize it. You pick which you want the press releases. You don't want the press releases. You want all the which series you want to follow. You, you, you put that in there yourself and you can figure it out. A little contact on the racetrack there, Mark, and we'll finish this one up. I think my uh, little pieces. Of it's not going to be any more than that. Yeah, sure. On the last lap, what are you going out for? You are the idiot. What are you coming out in front of me for? I'll tell you one thing, all right? Listen to me. Listen to me. There's not going to be a bloody repeat of two years ago. Some speed in the corner. Oh, whoa! And that's around goes to Kumasato back into the wall. And that's a hard, hard hit right there. He's just wide open. All right, buddy. That's a, the problem. You have to imagine. It just looks like, Paul, he got in there to one and, and just way too loose, and it just came around on him. Take a listen to this. Well, we didn't have the audio, but I promise you it was a big <laughs> boom. Violent. And so thankful for the safer barriers for an impact like that. And you got to remember, the teams were here for two days testing. Right. Right? And everybody was kind of easy, flat, just pounding around. And you come back here as a driver, and your first instinct is, oh, yeah, things are warm. I'm just going to go ahead and hammer it down. Oh, oh time. We've got another car into the wall. This time it's hinge clip. Another huge hit. We'll ride along with him. Wide open and just loses it. Right in the center of the turn. And, and that was that was not just like a gentle loose. That was just a snap, snap gone. gone. Absolutely, Absolutely no, no chance. No chance to correct it or try to get out of it. It just snapped, and it was all over. 
parts flying. Look like they went over the fence. A, a very similar contact with the wall is what we saw from Sato earlier. Oh. And sounded the same. That's the worst noise in IndyCar racing, man. When you, you just hear the wind knocked out of that safer barrier at the back of that car. Well. I'll tell you one thing that is a good thing that we've seen so far, that w the big problem they were having last year on the Ovals was they, when they got backwards and hit, the cars would lift up off the ground and start to take off and fly. They're going close to 200 miles an hour here, and the cars are staying on the ground, which is good. Yeah, the flaps are keeping them down on the ground when they are going backwards. Negotiating that back wing, trying to figure out... Oh! The right amount of downforce, and once again we have another car backed into the wall. That's a hard hit, because he hit square, Townsend, right he, square on the gearbox. He Both lost wheels are these days, they do such a better job. square right on the gearbox, which is the worst case scenario, really, because all that G-load just gets pushed right back into the chassis in the car. And that was earlier in the turn, right where he's parked now is where... Yeah, he was loose right away. As soon as he turned in, he was it was going around. And that, now you see it hit square right there. He was on that yellow line as well, PT. You had commented yeah. on that earlier. In the we'll see if he lifts his visor here. He stopped the car. So he's trying to figure where his whereabouts are as the car rolls down the track. This is the third Honda so far to start the weekend to have a very similar crash. I think these guys are just trying to trim out as best they can and kind of just go for it. Um, and, man, they're paying the price. Tires, and that shows you how much quicker you are on fresh tires. He got out in the gray. Lost control. Wow. Yellow, 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 yellow. He just got out of the groove, got up in the dirty part of the track, and lost it. So that shows you how good Castro Neves was, because he was up there with a flat tire. Carlos Munoz right up against the wall, may have got into the wall. He had just pitted. Looks like he might have a tire down. I'm not sure if it's tire or if it could be damage to the back of his car. And the yellow flag now comes out. Too wide as they go. Oh, they touched. Not enough room and around goes the 83 of Charlie Kimball. Great. Kimball spins. Great car control from Kimball. Pit lane wall. And there's damage to Newgarden's yep. car. That front wing is broken. So double whammy. I mean, Newgarden's got to come in and now we, get a wing. We've got a new steward format here in IndyCar. Right. It goes to a vote of three. We've got Max Pappas, Dan Davis, and Ari Leyendijk. And they're going to probably review that and have to make a decision. Was that avoidable contact? Well, certainly it was. Almost down into the pit wall. Uh, we just got chopped. Oh, and it, look at these guys. They're getting more racy it's now. Oh! Dang! Into the wall! Hold on, hold it. Stay up there. Stay up. Stay Pretty up. Just kissing the wall. Opportunity to put some tires on it. Get going again. He's been strong tonight. I've had a kiss like that. And, oh. and the yellow has come out. Teammate. Oh, right on the front stretch. And, and this Hunter is terrible Ray, for Hunter, Hunter Ray. Ray gets just get dirty this late in the race. There's so much stuff. And watch this. He just cannot turn anymore. Hard contact on the right front. Right here, I mean, moves out of Ryan Hunter Ray tonight. <laughs> oh, and a that's big catch. Pretty loose. Oh, he, he did, did actually the catch the wall. Yeah, that's got a wing broken. Yep. And that could be a yellow. We got a piece of carpet. And ready, Kanan and uh, Munoz. Alexander Rossi in the team. Because at Firestone, we don't just make tires. We make champions. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Alex Rossi, a local in turn one and uh, break fire. Issue happened at the end of practice number two for Sebastian Bourdais as he makes contact. Of motorsports history. Absolutely, except for Les Unger of Toyota who gets angry when I don't ride Toyota Grand Prix in Long Beach. So, so we've got car 28, that's Ryan Hunter Ray. Just didn't have the real estate to correct the car in the time that he needed it, and the left rear just caught the tires as he came around. Now, there's a condo complex just above where that bump is. I used to be... Takes care of talented young American driver, Mark. Looks like he turns in. Oh, he just gets a little free in the middle of the corner, and when he corrects it, he goes up the track and just runs out of the room on the exit. Jay Query? And I'll tell you, obviously, that red flag doing what we would anticipate. That is bringing everybody to pit road. Tony Kanan, Elio Castroneves, both their teams awaiting them here 
at the end of pit road and mark i think probably what that means is it's going to go ahead and bring the end of this session. Castroneves, one of them that we'll try to talk to here as they await. The lines are all set. Elio Castroneves, currently P1, streaks out of turn number 11. I have stalled it. He did. No, he's flying as he gets off course in turn nine, stalls the car, and brings out a red flag. Midway through the first session, Michaela Lotion has problems spinning off course after a trip to the grass in turn. Max Chilton rolls off in turn number five, a very tricky portion of the race course. and. Uh, a little too deep, a lot of brake smoke, and uh, he lost grip on the, the rear end of the race car and uh, came to... I talked to him this morning, the, the, the guy in the flag stand for yeah. the Horizon IndyCar Series. He got a big kick out of you being up there with him yesterday. They all... Uh, good luck in... Wow, and uh, as we take a look at the replay... <laughs> He did. That's he not entering around. pits in the grip. The rear grip of the car just went away, and he was along for the ride. In front of us from the Grand Prix of Alabama, oh. and a lotion. Look as though they're going to get the green. The caution comes out right away. Lotion is trying to go to speed. He gets hit in the back by Carlos Munoz, and that turns a lotion into Hawksworth in the 41, and that's here that, uh, let's see, it just stacks up. Munoz runs into him. He hits Hawksworth, and all the rest of the field luckily escapes through there, so sometimes really that can turn. Now, I'll tell you what, we went green to start it, and we have a yellow at a, at a track that's a lot easier to get around. We've gone yellow to yellow yeah. to start off in Alabama. We're going through turn 14. Whoa, nearly pushed. Turn two there behind is Pagano oh. and Bourdais. Oh, already contact. Front wing. Sebastian Bourdais with a broken wing. And oh, he's oh, go Dixon. Scott Dixon. Dixon's. Oh, he just got tagged there, probably by Bourdais, I would think. Because he was right in the middle of the hairpin. Bourdais slides in on the grass, yeah. tags Dixon's back wheel, spins him around. Now all these other cars have to avoid him. He's very lucky he didn't get T-boned and put him out. That is the 11 of Sebastian Bourdais getting into the nine. Pit stops continue to cycle through. Pagano has yet to come to pit road. Pagano. Really tight, and he's going to make a move. And oh! Contact there! Pagano oh. off track! Pagano Graham. blocked him a little bit and they made moves over on him. Well, I don't think so. There's a corner, in. Paul. He's a right hand corner coming up. Can't go wide through there. Ray Hall wasn't far enough along. Oh, oh, the front oh wing's wing gone comes now. off. That, that wing gone. Wing has come off the 15 and off course he goes. Here. Well, it looked like Hawks were just backed off to let these guys go and Grant. Handful of laps looking forward to the rest of the two later on this afternoon. Yeah, again, don't forget, we'll have all the action of that. Uh, and to benefit uh, those who maybe struggled in qualifying, they want to throw some changes to the race car to the hand they're going to be dealt on race day. I, I, I don't know in recent memory if we've ever had a more significant. Came in and is going back out on new Firestone Firehawks trying to get them up to 10, but that tub was dragging. All Practice session started. The sun peaked out for about two minutes and it felt noticeably warmer. Now it's... We'll start with some of the drivers that struggled in morning practice. The session saw a ton of harmless spins with so many teams working on qualifying setups. Those searching for grip included Sebastian Bourdais, Kuma Sato, Scott Dixon, and Mikhail Lotion. When Trouble, cars into the outside wall. And Scott, they had moved over to a side. So he thinks he's going to go around the outside. The nine of Scott Dixon takes his space. All of a sudden, here we go. Watch this along with Sebastian Borde. He's got nowhere to go. He, had nowhere, right. to, he had nowhere to go, but he could, like you were saying before, Eddie, right, though? You're looking to make a right-hand turn, and there the problem comes from your left for both drivers. Right, and there's no spotter in the world. Car line, a lot of sparks coming out of it. Uh, and then the, right behind him. But, and he did make it around the corner. That tight arc that Will was trying to do. <laughs> Don't forget, Rossi is the one that put out the bait, and he took it. <laughs> he had a choice to take the bait. That's a terrible feeling, isn't it? We've all done it. <laughs> it's just like, there's no grip on the grass. What I a great shot. Look at that shot. And win. Let's watch this. Oh, a little bit offline. The back end's coming around. Yeah, there he goes. Rossi evades oh, him. Oh, very nice. He's been watching American drag racing. Oh, we have a car in trouble. Car in trouble.
here's a replay. Yeah, it was at the exit of turn number one into the short shoot wall between one and two. Car coming to a stop in turn number two. Another replay. Very hard contact on the left side of that machine into the safer barrier. Uh, you know, you'll oh, feel we it. Got the a spin oh, right that's, there. Oh, that's Chilton. Chilton. Yeah, Max Chilton. Chilton lost it, and Davey, uh, that's yeah. a very, very tricky part of the racetrack. Looked like it just cut loose of the apex. Yeah, you see that car. That is, uh, you know, that's an Andretti, I mean, a, a Ganassi car there. And Shermark, he pokes down in there, looks good. I mean, I don't even see any correction. He's really in line. Boy, he just takes off so late in that corner. You know, not very far from missing the safer barrier, but man, it turned around and you'd like to see it hit left rear first and then the, le or the left side first where it absorbs that energy just a little bit better than hitting that. Uh, you can just see it turn so fast and it just whips. And then that, that nose, boy, it's a tough way to hit. But the Delar, like I say, they do such a great job with these cars. I mean, these are, I really feel the safest race cars that there is um, over any, any open wheel race cars. So. Yeah, she's already side with slide. sideways so she got loose clipped the back of the car off of, if we could get an earlier view of that but it looks like she lost it lost it early and it was completely flat sideways like a sprint car yep and just tore that back wing and attenuator off and the bumper and looks like she got the rear corner and then yep. obviously got the front she's trying to stop the she might hit the inside wall as well qualifying action Driving for A.J. Foyt's team, veteran Alex Tagliani's car spun exiting turn number four. After kicking up a cloud of tire smoke, Tagliani's car struck the attenuator at pit entrance, sending his Honda spinning back across the track. The 2011 pole sitter will start 33rd. Scott. Race, right? Oh, trouble. out already he hung on to it all the way through to the exit and then he realizes he's lost it did the right thing by just locking up the brakes and now you're looking at the side of your helmet and hoping to see where you're going hmm. very rarely do you see car hit the outside wall came in and hit the attenuator that was back in 1994, and after I hit the wall the first time, I thought, okay, I'm clear, and I looked out the side of my helmet, and lo and behold, as you said, Eddie, there's the attenuator. You're just a passenger with nothing left to do when the car cannot be steered. But the car did stay flat in the ground for as much as it went backwards many times. Here we go, real-time speed. Look at those orange flaps that are lifting up in the back. Now the rules are that on the right hand lane that is the fast lane the lane that's in the middle that stay in that middle lane all clear, all clear, one. that is say, close yeah. Karam is in trouble hard crash i just start to say bail out of it it's not worth it at this point in the race he had worked his way up to sixth place teamed up with the white line but sage really should have bailed out of that because this is not the last lap or the last 10 laps of the race he really was a no-win situation to try to carry speed around the outside of the track there but the tr there's no way for townsend bell to go anywhere he was going so well all he had to do like you said just bail out of that pass filter back in and he probably would have passed him within a lap and a half let's remember how far back he started and he had worked his way all the way up to sixth place he really that impact. Mm. It's great driving though to let the car land on the soft bear. Oh, look 
and everybody after him take to that safety apron that's paved over there. Caught that wall just past the end of the safer barrier, too. And he's lucky. All the cars behind are lucky. There was asphalt there and not grass. It just broke. Hey, he did, didn't stand a chance. Turn two, exit. Looks like the back end of the car starts to break loose on him. Off he goes, hits the wall. The 77 of Oriel Service sees all this happen in front of him. Car looks like it starts to lose control underneath That's of Gabby, Ch Gabby Chavez. Lotion spin looks very similar to Montoya's. Yeah. Behind there, because I can't it's see Con it. It's Connor number. Daly. So the 18 of Connor Daly sees it all happening in front of him. Yeah. So not only does he have some front nose damage, guys, he's got some rear wing. Car is mud. Don't change it. Whoa! Contact! I that outside lane where he's supposed yeah, to be. He's, oh, yeah. Well, I, was, I wasn't blaming him. I'm just yeah. saying when he that tire touched on that turn. Tire. There is a tire loose from road. There's Lazier. He's had service, and so the car just came off of Give a bit of a squiggle. He's controlling it. So Takuma Sato, who were riding on. Are very smooth, so this is quite a shock. And he just needs laps right now. He's just needs hot coming in the rear end of that race car, stepped out on a lotion and uh, tagged that tire barrier. It sticks out there for flag out. Nick, we're having a we get an opportunity to look at the replay now. Yeah, he tagged it pretty good. A uh, big rear, so uh, I believe again, uh, all right, man. I actually got, I think I've gotten like you know, around. So Jack Hawksworth pushing as hard as he can, Mark, has gotten into the runoff. Race car, and, and, and Jake, we're hopeful that that's just uh, uh, the bolt on kind of damage. It, it looked I'm telling you, the tricky thing, I think, and, and Davey talked about it yesterday during our qualifying show, different rubber compounds from the different series that are running here. And there's no doubt about the fact that there is a balance issue in terms of the middle of the track. It's for Mikel Alosian this weekend. But yeah, listen to folks that. Uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway is going to continue on past 100 years, and we're going to start to prepare you for the 101st. The Times has a couple of top 10 finishes, but no wins. And Jake, more woes in turn seven for Mikel Alosian. Out there on those red tires, and you wonder if maybe they just weren't getting there. Trouble and a full course yellow. Max Chilton has just contacted the barrier. The course is, I thought I heard him say something about a suspension oh. breakage. The car wouldn't turn for him. He's and in he the straightaway. Just went directly into the wall, so. What a helpless feeling that is, Eddie. You miles an hour, already locked up the front wheels. He takes his foot off the brake just a little bit, tries to make the turn, carrying too much speed. And that. He had to make a quick decision here to try. Hitting pit road. Contact on the front stretch. Hinge clips into the wall and more. And Sato. Hinchcliffe had nowhere to go. And you can hear the impact at. Oh, Marco, Marco oh. already got a piece of it too. He almost got through that. A hard thing to do because watch Sato, he ends up in the middle of the track and you're trying to get off the middle of the track hoping that nobody's gonna hit you. But if he had his foot on the brakes and stopped, then uh, Marco would have got through there. So. It you see that James took his hands off the steering wheel, so he ends up getting his uh, hand. Uh, the late move, the surprise move, doesn't quite work. Scott Dixon breaks pretty late, guys. It's not like you're going to be able to go in there and outbreak him. That's down the end of the backstretch, heading to turn seven. Hander, after coming off of turn seven, the back end steps around from him and right into the outside wall, Eddie, and now the right rear toe is actually bent, and you can see the right rear wheel. I hate to say the obvious, but we've had two races and two crashes from Montoya. Three races and two crashes from Montoya. He Chavez, wow. Run. That's a pretty risky. He lost you saw the early. rear touch. You see the, the, the rear touched in turn three, and the car just went around. Tough to say if that was 
kicked off by the radio this better pay off with us staying out longer than everyone else they talked about a wing adjustment and they vetoed that wing adjustment and a crash on the track huge crash on the front straightaway looks like connor daly and i believe joseph newgarden big hit coming into the trial there's connor daly in his car massive damage you see joseph newgarden in his on his own with help from the home ultra safety crew kind of all right, let's go back and take a look. Up at the See, top of your uh, screen, Connor Connor's, really loose. Connor got loose. Oh. Yeah, Connor just got loose, corrected, and went up into the track into Joseph. And now Joseph's upside down, and the front spins around, and Connor's car pushing it right into the wall, into the safer barrier. It's a good thing that was safer barrier and not concrete. And these two guys are the best of buddies, too. They're best friends. So this is a, a double hard. Yeah, they, they came up through the junior formulas together. <laughs> Sound of it. And the violence that you see with which Connor's car snaps. Watch this. He gets loose, and now he's going to correct. Probably dampened. Connor Daly's impact tremendously. Well, it probably saved him from a huge frontal impact. Absolutely. You see the car come up off the ground when it was being pushed into the wall by, by Daly's car. So that shows you that it's Oh. Oh, he's got some damage oh, there, too. Oh, that's going to hurt. That uh, his right front wing is damaged. Practice session also allowed drivers a chance to test the limits of this massive 14-turn, four-mile course. Some of them may be a little too much as a handful of drivers made off-course excursions Friday morning. A handful of drivers found the Friday evening practice a little bumpy, perhaps curbing in the early moments of practice too. A few later, sending his NTT Data Chevrolet into the gravel trap. TK we put those uh, five red five-stone ties on, and again, the car was, uh, was beautiful. Um, I was, uh, that was an interesting qualifying, a lot of uh, expectation of rain, no rain, and uh, there were some drops in Q2 that made it difficult. Uh, and, and then there at the end, uh, I think the strategy was perfect to, uh, to start a little later. Your last win was at the start of the month of May. Uh, what would a win perhaps mean here at Mid-Ohio? For Definitely contact there. Push to passes on with Kimball. There, there goes Bordet's Whoa. right rear pod. That was Charlie Kimball on Montoya's car. So I wonder if it's still there now. We see here something foam flying something broke right there troll near turn 14. This could be terminal oh well, you got it way played on the brakes locked the rears coming out of the pits but just overcooked it big time into one it's a good thing that did later when his DHL Honda would get sideways at the same end of the racetrack. Hunter Ray would back his car into the wall. The good news for Hunter time Iowa race winner Ryan Hunter Ray as he grenades an engine down the backstretch bringing out a caution to go along with a massive. He has such great up oh, there's the yellow. Oh that is brutal for Tony Kanan. Yes Max Chilton just gets into some dirty air. I think he was behind for a day. Yeah he just got loose coming off and slides all the way down the backstretch. The tires pop right okay. there He needed a good result and got one there. Yeah, for sure. Getting a replay of uh, the spin. Just pieces we're taking a look at. Oh, my goodness. 
Nick, he came off of that turn and the total, the balance of the race car and the grips. Uh, your your logo is being covered up by <laughs> by tire marks. That's a good point. There's a good replay for those joining us online. Oh, for him, <laughs> sure. most of the speed has been scrubbed off. Ford said, and it took me back to turn seven complex, Nick. And it's going to be interesting to see what they decide to do over the course of the season. You know, it's not an easy transition when you know you still got AJ Foyt and. Cotter had found himself oh, seventh oh. quick on the day. Davey, what do you see? Scott, Scott. Most people we might expect to be a little disappointed by missing that. Awesome. I mean, to you know, to be seventh, you know, it's our best qualifying. Are going to do? And yeah, whoa, that was pretty creative little spin. I'll have to say from McCall with Hinchcliffe. Oh, and we have Simon Pat. David, let's take it. Yep, he just he just overshot it. Yeah, just overshot a little bit. Doesn't. Camera Cotter Daly. Boy, he really attacked that curbing on the yeah, inside. Yeah, didn't he? so exactly what I thought. There's a big lap, and it's. It's front wing missing on Hunter. As well. Watch this. There's Ray Hall on the inside. Well, he got hit by Hunter Ray, it looks like. Uh, I think you're right, Paul. Ray no, Hall was I clipped. Think, I think Ray Hall ran over Kimball's front wing, and that cut his tire down. When Paul here. Boom, right there. He got a little bit. He got help from both sides. He is on the button. Oh, and there, he, he gets into New Garden. Took the back bumper pod. Looks inside, then fades to the outside. His right front wing takes off the rear pod. It's locked. It, locked. Was, already it was already flat. flat. So it was flat on the straightaway. I wonder if that was debris that. Let's see if a yellow comes out. It oh, has he's, to. He's hurt. Castro Nevis and all that's a. He hits the curb, oh. loses the grill wheel right out of his hand, the steering wheel right out of his hand, clobbers the wall. And as we saw the side. And this is what hit. Down into turn three. This is Charlie Kimball on the inside. Montoya in the middle. A little bit of contact there with. Roxworth wasn't there just because of the marbles that accumulate. That's like a New Jersey lane closure. On Pagano ran into the back of me. Oh, really? They were fighting over position in the top. Yeah, and certainly that uh, that entire story. I mean, it's going to play. Two uh, incidents there, Dave, in a matter of uh, 20 or 30 seconds. Kind of bizarre down there. Will Power will go second quick. Juan Montoya is third. Tony Canon fourth. Elio Castroneves fifth. So it is a Penske and Ganassi top five. Fastest Honda driver is James Hinchcliffe. Mikhail Lotions decided that 20. Spencer Piggott is off. We'll watch a replay. That's turn number four. Backs it in, so lost it in the S's right there. But a beautiful day. Temperatures obviously will climb as the day progresses, and obviously that will give us an opportunity or a chance to see a pop-up thunderstorm potentially seeing. I think the whole uh, pit lane was dodging weather, looking at rain. Oh, here we go. Dixon. Oh, and he's done. Front suspension is folded up. He wins his mirrors. Dixon goes for the inside. The door is open. And you're not going to get two cars in there when you're on the curb like that. I'm not sure the door was ever fully open either. Well, it was cracked open, and he tried to kick it open, and there just wasn't enough room. Breaking zone here, and then it was done. You so know, it's like like we said in Toronto, you high, and he stuffed it. Got to do a better job. And oh. Now we're running P2, Castro Neves off the track. One mile. Oh, oh. big hit. It's the 41 of Jack Hawksworth back there, but he, oh, he gets goes, in the grass. He just right he drops his oh. right side in the grass. You know, it's a lot like Charlie Kimball's crash in qualifying a few years ago. When you go off there, look, it's downhill, grass runoff. There's barely any time to slow down. 150 mile. You know, power contact and Charlie Kimball off at turn four. Will Power and Simon Pagano race. Look at Bourdais. Oh, oh, that was it's the yellow that Daly needed. Oh, oh. It just, it's going to come out at the wrong time. And right into the side of Joseph Newgarden. After a pair of penalties, the dream of an IndyCar win for a lotion was gone. Practice session, last year's race winner. Oh, Ryan Hunter Ray, big hit. Straight out of the pits, qualifying simulation run, low down force, and it just got away from him there. The back comes around, you hear the throttle hit as his foot goes full throttle from the impact. Luckily, Ryan was okay, but that's the car that he won the Indy 500 in, completely destroyed. And, and Charlie this was Kimble. Charlie Kimball. Well, and he crashed hard here last year in practice, so the, the most amazing thing, the tethers do their job, the cars stay on the ground like Indy car. Unfortunately, the steering wheel didn't stay on the ground, but he escaped injury. And then Juan Pablo Montoya trying to get up to speed on full tires. Big hit on the right, then back to the left side of the track as well. Montoya, Pagano lucky 
to come away unscathed. Your championship leader. Three, back on Whoa, the big crash. That is Sato. Huge crash. Just third there to a lotion and just loses the back end. And a massive front end impact. Luckily, that have been made in safety over the years, and that safer barrier is one of. He gets oh. together with Kimball. Oh! Oh. What a terrifying moment for the new guard at Mid Ohio. And it's, uh, you know, your race leader. I got it. See the car just now, and you can see the brakes are locked. So I talked earlier about the marbles, and I wonder if he just got a little high mid corner and it just took off on him. You could see the, the black marks as he tried to lock up and prevent impact brakes. So there he's, he's up early already. Now it was well before what you were talking about when the brakes locked. It was more at the entry to the corner, but some reason the car just gets loose. The impacts already happened there. It's an IndyCar series that will be down on the concourse. And then we see on Big Hoss TV the replay, and there's something blows in the uh, 14 car of S Takuma Sato, and then he's up into the fence. The damage there to the right, out the tow truck, and get ready to uh, take his car off the track. And do this. Oh, 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 just like I said, the more you start fooling around and racing each other, that's what happens. Carpenter and Dixon touch. Dixon is into the wall, and there's that Castro Neves that came by and just clipped him. Oh, I don't know about uh, that. Yeah. It looks to me I like think, Dixon yeah. moved up. It looked like Dixon, you're right. It looked like Dixon got into the back of Ed. So I am, uh, I'm in the wrong here. I think, uh, wait a second. Can you, can we I'm, in, that one more I'm time? in the wrong here. Is I, anybody I agree with you. I think now. Dixon <laughs> moved up the lane and caught that back bumper. That is Elio Castro Neves. Robin, oh. Tony Kanan has moved up to second oh, in a big crash. Like I told you. And who is that? It's Rossi. Is that no, Rossi? No, that's Ed. That's Ed Carpenter. Yep. And that's Max Chilton from behind. Spun, trying to apart. Yeah, he got loose, stepped up, and oh, right Nevis. rear went down. Nowhere to go. The right rear for Ed Carpenter, it looks like, went down. And Elio took pretty good contact. Front and has no. Yeah, it's wiggling, wiggling. And I wonder if the tire went down from the contact. Oh, a lotion. And Hawksworth. Oh, that's just, a lotion. That's just a coming lotion in right there. He lotion. loses it. Yeah, nowhere for Hawksworth to go. A lotion lost it. And boom, right into the side and head on into the wall. It was a hard hit. Very similar to the crash that Connor had with uh, with New Garden. Very similar, but uh, luckily these guys these guys walked away from this one. Hawksworth was just an innocent bystander coming through at the end, and Chilton had to go through the grass to avoid him. Robin? All right, the good news is... It's hey, water! And already, uh, yeah, yeah, there's something popped up there. That's moisture. Yeah, big crash there. A lot of damage. He's currently P3. His teammate, R.C. Anderson, in P2. And you can see a low... Moments of practice, Tony Kanad would spin harmlessly, coming to a stop in the middle of the track. When the dust settled on Friday, most importantly with a trip into the tire barrier, right as the checkered flag would fly on today's action. There's plenty of more open wheel racing. His ultra premium vodka car boot gets to the bottom of the racetrack and then all of a sudden the left rear bumps that curbing and uh, he's a lot of damage there on the... Involving uh... Mikel lotion and it looks like he ran up a little too quickly on Carlos Munoz and and once he climbed on the binders, he was kind of on off area and he backed it into the tire barrier. Got it back out onto the course and as Dave suggested, brought a lot of some teammates, right? As a lotion looped it, James Hinchcliffe's car stepped out. He did about a uh, 90 degree spin, stopped right there. Just like that, five minutes to go in this session. Boy, lotion, we're gonna look at the replay. He looped this entire race weekend. I think the toe, turn seven, is gonna have a lot of problems and be one of those corners everyone's kind of afraid of throughout the whole weekend. Let's go to the other end of the racetrack and hear from Jake Query. But there's a battle for third. Canal oh. and Howard nearly come together. Pagenovez goes up, and the championship leader, Montoya, is around it. Pagenovez. He goes for the curb and makes contact, and Pagenovez there, and he hits, hits this car here as Montoya spinning, so I don't know. Well, we talked about in the pre-race, young drivers that needed a result, and Jack Hawksworth would certainly be near the top of that list.
with Newgarden. And yeah, there was multiple incidents going on here. There was cars spinning in front, there was cars spinning behind, so a couple of positions early, and Elotion is around, and he's hard into the barrier. That's at the top. Dixon's nowhere in tire, sight. Tire blew apart. And that is a very, very rare instance when you see a Firestone tire come apart, and that is the fastest part of the track. You're probably going 170 right there, and luckily, not a ton of, of, of uh, contact with the It's soft on the exit, but further Whoa. back, there's some wheel-to-wheel -wheel action and a big, big crash. crash. Graham Rahal, I believe. That was a, a curb. Yep. Oh, man. Willpower. Oh, big one. Like I said earlier, uh, Charlie gets a run on him, and he just squeezed him over. And uh, I don't know. We got to see the other. And Will just squeezes him out of room, and they make contact. So I'm not sure there was room for Charlie to begin with. He was over the white line, and the track narrows up driver's left. And he would have lost the momentum. I'm not sure Power would have known he was there. As you said, that would be the normal line exiting the S. Today at uh, 2.45 uh, Pacific time, that's 5.45 Eastern. As we will have one more practice session for you before we have a busy day tomorrow. So uh, those yeah. those suspension pieces. Owen uh, Snyder. But, they, I mean, my Delara. gosh, they are getting a workout at this racetrack. Yeah, that was, uh, looks like the, boy, that was a off for Scott Dixon as the back end just came around as he was trying to uh, hit the apex through turn. I feel like you come to a stop because it's so slow where it's a 180 degree hairpin. You got to really wait for the car. Bubble the excitement. The genesis of all of this as we have mark what do we have upstairs joseph newgarden the star talked to roger penske this morning and roger penske had told him that confirming they do want the three cars we'll talk we're not done seeing you out on the race cars mark she play for the first time hinch has got that car almost full lock jumps on the accelerator steps out on a mark and he makes pretty heavy contact with the left and it looks like it was just mainly wing damage but uh, they're gonna have to look over the left front suspension of that race car that he lost grip all of a sudden the thing just yeah, he just had trouble uh, the <laughs> Здесь контакты вновь похожи с участием Михаила Алешина. 